Meredith, you can begin. Aaron, what did you think of Montgomery overall? Uh, I thought he was good. I thought he was really good, obviously, in the first three innings. Um, you know, I thought maybe tired a little. Didn't seem as crisp there in the fourth, um, you know, as we drove his pitch count up a little bit. But I thought everything played well. You know, the breaking ball, he, he had a really good changeup going. And his fastball and cutter were playing as well. So um, I thought another good step for him, you know, especially especially the first first time through the lineup. We saw him have success prior to having Tommy John. How much of a factor do you think he could play in this season? Yeah, I think he could be huge. I mean, you know, I think sometimes that is forgotten, that this is a guy that's already had, um, you know, basically a full season of success as a starting pitcher in this league. And I think, you know, you know I think sometimes – people always point to Tommy John, they come back throwing harder or better or whatever. And I think it's more a result of the work that you put in. And, and I think the physical growth that we've seen with Monty over these last couple of years, that he's put himself in a really good physical, from a physically conditioning standpoint, he's in a really good spot. And as a result, you know, really since spring training, we've seen the quality of his stuff and especially, um, you know, the velocity on his fastball tick up. Aaron Judge was on the field for BP today. Did he come through that okay? He did. He did. Um, he was much better today to the point of obviously he was able to go through uh, a pretty full work day and, and obviously hit and everything and um, felt close. We just felt it was best to, um, you know, hold him off one more day with the idea of being there tomorrow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next question from Pete Caldera. Aaron, uh, starting the uh, intra squad game with the tenth inning drill, was that that have kind of a dual purpose to see how you defended, how you'd execute it? What what did you think about? That? Yeah, I just wanted to have our, you know, our especially our relievers, obviously, and guys that you know could be pitching in high leverage spots to, um, you know, just to make sure uh, <clears throat> we get that in. So you know, to have a runner out there, whether it was the tenth inning, but I think just to, you know get them in a position where, you know, that traffic on base. Um, yeah, I think it was something that um, <clears throat> I wanted those guys to, to, to have uh, here before we, before go. Take another question from James Wagner. James, go ahead. Hey, Aaron, just given um, DJ's uncertainty and, you know, opening day just over a week away, um, do you, would do you use Geo at second base during the regular season? Do you see him as an option there? I mean, obviously, we slid him over there at the end, um, and he did a little work there today. You know, just trying to make sure we're covered in a lot of spots, just with the – obviously with the uncertainty that who knows where this season goes and what you've got to deal with. So, um, you know, just the more versatility, obviously, you can create – in case you get in a situation, I feel like is important. We, you know, we obviously feel like Geo can handle that, but going on that side of the field, we just want to make sure he got a little work in there. Take another question from Ron Blum. Ron, go ahead. Aaron, after a week here, do you have any sense of whether the concerns and apprehensions of players about the protocols and the health situation? have lessened and the concerns changed now that they've gone through it for 10 days? Um, you know, I'll say this. I feel like pretty much to a man, I feel like the quality of their work has not suffered and their focus on, on the game and what they have to do to get ready has been very good. Um, you know, I think that's a, probably a question you know, that every individual would have to answer. I think by and large, most of the guys, my sense is, um, you know, feel some confidence in, in the protocols we have in place and that, you know, we're, we're doing everything possible to give ourselves a chance to do this. Um, you know, again, though, I, I feel like it is a, it is one of those things that can be a potential separator. You know, the team that's going to be able to handle 
uh, the grind of all the protocols and, and all that you have to go through to while still trying to go out and perform, um, being able to do that is going to be critical. Is that something that comes to you with their questions, or does that get directed toward others? Right. Um, you know, sometimes it's on an individual basis. Sometimes, you know, we get together in groups and talk about things. We're trying to be uh, vigilant, um, you know, from many different angles, Fr from me, from obviously training staff and front office and, um, you know, trying to kind of do the best we can through it all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from Sweeney Murdy. Aaron, especially later in the game, I think you're starting to see some better swings from some of the guys. Like maybe some of your top pitchers uh, came out of the game. Are you starting to notice hitters catching up a little bit? Yeah, I, f I felt that the last couple of days. Um, you know, I think the first couple innings, you know, w with the sun shining, I, I, I thought the shadows probably made it a little bit tough on the hitters too. The first couple innings. Um, but, yeah, I do feel like, feel like our guys are, are you know, finding their rhythm, finding their timing a little bit more and more at the plate. And, you know, I've been pleased that, you know, they've been able to get a lot of live reps. And, uh, you know, I think in this situation that we're in, I, I, I think it's important and I put a lot of value in that. And, and I think we're starting to see some dividends, you know, as our hitters, you know, get up to speed. And Duhar and left, he made a nice play on a line drive. And Looks like maybe he's throw to second or the ball caught the hit. And mm -hmm. to see some of the things that you guys have been working on talking about playing off there. Yeah, I mean, really two plays out there today that were not simple plays by any means. The line drive, um, you know, a, a, a good outfielder can, can mess that up. Um, and then the, the high fly ball tailing down the line in left that, you know, that's – you know, if you're not on it, you, you see guys overrun that sometimes. So really pleased with and made a pretty good throw on, on Talkman, obviously. So, you know, just further confirmation of what we we're seeing, honestly, in his work in spring training, his work in the games in spring training. I do feel like he's kind of natural out there. So, um, you know, another good step for him. Thank you. Christy, you have the next question. Hey, Aaron, just following up, yesterday you said uh, maybe when asked if you might have Sasa and LeMahieu back. Do you have any update on that? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Take another. Just yeah, I know. We'll take another question from Max Goodman. Max, go ahead. Hey, Aaron. All right, hey. two quick ones for you. First one, uh, to piggyback off of the extra innings, uh, question from earlier. I lost count, but I think there were five stolen bases today. After last year, when you guys were bottom third in the league in steals, how do you feel about the, the speed that this team has? Well, I mean, some of it's personnel based. And, you know, I, there were stretches last year, you know, especially earlier in the year when we were missing a lot of guys and we had some guys that, you know, the speed game's part of their game. And, you know, we were playing a little bit different at times where the stolen base was a real factor for us. Um, so, I mean, it, it depends on, I mean, personnel and who, who we have in the lineup on a given day. So today where both teams are playing and you got Floreal and you got uh, Wade and Guardy and Hicks and Estrada, you know, guys that, and Talkman and Granite, you know, a lot of guys that can run, you know, the, those guys are, that's going to be part of their game. So it just depends on, you know, who we have available to us. Gotcha. And then really quick, second one. What did you talk to with the umpires? I'm assuming you guys were right after the intra squad ended about the, the ball that nicked off of the base. Yeah. Is that a good a good test of of the protocol with like interacting with umpires during the games too? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I I've never seen that play before. That where the ball spun in foul territory and stayed on the ground and hit the side of the bag. So I was kind of getting clarification on on you know exactly what the rule and you know there's a little discrepancy frankly between the umpires and us. It was like you know so it's something we got to look into about just exactly what the right ruling on that is. Take the last question from Brian Hoke. Brian, go ahead. 
Hey, Aaron, just to follow up on DJ, uh, has he been able to do any kind of baseball activities or is he shut down? Would he be starting from zero when he comes back? Um, not from zero, but I don't want to get too much into, you know, again, commenting on, on them while, you know, they're away on COVID.